Hello, welcome back. Today is day two of my 30 days of painted elephants project or VEDA vlog every day in August. Yesterday was an intense day, but it was so much fun and I learned a lot already. Um, my husband came home and he saw the painting and he said, oh, I wanna hang this one up. Then again, he pretty much says that after every painting because he's just adorable and so sweet. But today I am going to continue with the smash canvas idea. I liked doing that. I really like paintings with a lot of texture. So to start with just a plain canvas, I just don't dig it. But I'm changing things up from yesterday. Yesterday had a lot of texture. Today, this painting, or this smash canvas, it just has paint on it. It even has paint on it from yesterday. I took the leftover paint from my paint palette yesterday and I smashed it on here. So carrying on a little bit of yesterday's creative energy on to today. And these are layers and layers of just paint. So there isn't a whole lot of texture on here. So I'm just gonna roll with what I've got here. And this is gonna be my jumping off point. As mentioned yesterday, I used to be a teacher with paint night and so I have all these leftover paintings from my teaching there and of course I never want to throw them away so I just repurpose them and that's something for everybody to consider is that if you have a painting that you don't love or that's been sitting in your studio for a while and you haven't been able to finish it, be really brave and just paint over the damn thing. It's just sitting there anyways, it's not doing anything. Why not make it into something more purposeful and meaningful to you? Something I thought about after yesterday's painting was that I forgot to protect my hands with my gloves in a bottle. So if you're working with acrylic paint or a lot of glue and your hands were gum gunky like mine were yesterday, this is a must have for any studio. This is a protector for your skin. Yesterday after cleanup, first of all, cleanup was really hard because I had a lot of glue on my hands and a lot of paint and, and it was really hard for cleanup. This really helps you wash things off really simply. It creates a nice barrier for your skin. And it also, um, yesterday after cleanup, I was really itchy because the paints and the glue that we're using, they have things in them that are not good for our skin. So I highly recommend getting yourself a barrier cream. You only need like a nickel size for, for every day and it lasts a really long time and it will save you a lot of pain in terms of itching and maintaining your skin and a lot of cleanup time. So there's one tip for today. So this painting here is a lot brighter than yesterday's painting. Yesterday's painting was quite dark. So I'm really excited to dive into some really happy and colorful colors today. And I guess we'll just see what's gonna happen. this painting and I wanted to show you the part that I love about painting elephants and using this water technique that I just happen to love. Making the wrinkles in an elephant's trunk look organic is very very hard to do without taking a lot of painstaking time. So I love using a high flow paint, that is key, doing a straight line and then just adding water and letting it drip. And you get this, he's still really wet, and you get this very organic dripping wrinkle effect, which I absolutely cannot get enough of. I have just always loved the look of things to look very organic. I'm never one to paint something that is going to be extremely lifelike and making the concept of texture without actually painting texture is something that I just really love challenging myself to do. So um, I guess I just wanted to share that that's how I get this technique 
where I just add the drippies and they create the trunks wrinkles without painstakingly painting them all in. And then of course, I love that you can still see all the beautiful little layers that are in the background still without painting over everything. And that just gives it a great amount of interest. And you can look at my paintings and find something different in them almost every time you look at them. lunchtime I'm famished and I'm gonna eat pizza with these hands yep yes I am so lunch was yummy and then my webcam stopped recording so you're gonna miss the detailed work that I was just doing but I was just doing it with a white gel pen and I'm going to jump back into it and hopefully you can catch up. Day two, and I'm all done. Are you ready to see it? If you're wondering which gel pen I used, I'm using the Jelly Roll Sakura 08 pen. The best gel pen I have yet to find. It's fantastic. And you just have to make sure that whatever you're writing on is dry, totally dry. It writes on a lot of surfaces, as long as it's dry. I'm really in love with this one. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It is number two of 30, so stay tuned tomorrow for my next one. Don't miss a thing by subscribing on my YouTube channel here and follow the hashtag 30 Days of Painted Elephants on Instagram. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.